Hey guys, we're back. We are kind of northeast of Tampa, west of Orlando, and we're going to do ride number four, the fourth most popular ride in Flo the state of Florida, according to MotorcycleRoads.com. Let's get started. It is a beautiful 74 degrees. The sun is finally out, it's warm. I have none of my base layers on. I just stepped behind that uh, little trash area and stripped off all my thermals because it's just gorgeous out. And I cannot wait to just ride with none of this crap on. It's been so long. I already did the first, you know, maybe five, 10 miles of this ride last night. And then I decided to scrap it because it was just getting too dark. And honestly, I was kind of beat. It had been a long day. But we're going to do it right now. Oh my God, I can feel the wind on my legs. It's nice. Seventy-nine miles, an hour and a half. Be done by two o'clock and head right up to the other one. All right, guys, we're going to check out this ride. My guess is the road is not going to be particularly exciting. As for the scenery, from what I saw last night, it's just woods. You know, they look a little different than treed areas or forests in the DMV. That's all I could really tell you so far. I mean, it didn't seem particularly impressive. So my guess is this is a really popular ride because it's, you know, backcountry roads, nothing technical or complex and for people who just want to be out on their bike for a nice ride for a couple hours just dig it don't recall there being too much traffic there was some no big deal and it may just be that's why it's a popular ride but we'll see we'll film the whole thing i'm gonna put my music on because it's just a beautiful day i don't want to sit here shoot my mouth off we are at 6,019 miles on the Challenger. I'm not going to do a 6,000 mile review because, I mean, I'm in the middle of this road trip. Who knows, maybe I'll find a spot in the Keys where I just can't resist and I do it. But I, I haven't really sat down and put my thoughts together as far as what I think of the bike overall. Especially in comparison to my Chieftain. And I want to give it a really good thought and, and actually write down my thoughts so I don't forget stuff while I'm filming it and that's just not likely going to happen down here oh so nice out so nice out oh my gosh thank you basically swampland in there 60 mile an hour road this is it yeah so if you watch my video about the uh, the other rides you might be thinking well DMV Solo Rider seems relatively unimpressed with the roads in Florida. And yeah, I mean, that's generally true, at least of those two rides. I mean, no, let me take that back. The Daytona Beach Loop was great, beautiful. I really enjoyed it. Um, the, the other ride along the river, it was nice. I guess, for me, an awesome ride is a great road a fun road and nice scenery together and while both of those rides had great scenery the roads themselves are eh, ho-hum nothing of any real consequence and just to clarify you know when i decided to come down here i only had two goals in mind the first one was to see star wars galaxy's edge at disney world 
and the second was to ride to the Keys and ride US-1 down to Key West. I know that's going to be a great, a great ride. And I didn't really come up with this idea of doing like the top five rides in Florida till I was already on the road and my first night in a, at a hotel I was like huh what else should I be doing because I have extra time built into the trip and you know I saved two days for Disney just in case I needed it but I mean having been to Galaxy's Edge once that was enough I was pretty uninspired by it to be honest uh, and so with my extra time, I decided, hey, why don't I do these top five rides? Or at least top, you know, four of the top five, because the, the fourth is actually the ride down to Key West. So the fourth on that list. So, you know, that's how this all came about. I didn't come down here because I was under the impression that riding in Florida and Florida roads were amazing. In fact, my understanding is just the opposite from watching, you know, Blockhead and Shade Tree, like... I don't get the sense there's much in the way of great motorcycle roads down here. And, and now that I'm here and riding what other riders consider to be the best rides, I gotta be honest, I'm really happy with what we have in the DMV. We've got a lot of great rides out there. You know, on the twisties front, nothing like North Carolina, but you can find them. There's some water. <laughs> Yay! Swampland. Here, gator, gator, gator. I don't see any. I don't think we're gonna see a gator this trip. Every time I pass water, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for a crocodile or a, an alligator. So, you know, I've been thinking about it. One thing I could really use on the Challenger for cold weather riding are the closeouts they make. So they're like inserts you put on the crash bars that seal them off, block your, you know, cold air from hitting your feet, or at least cold wind. And they make a pair for these crash bars that have little divots in them to make room for your feet. So you keep your feet snugged up against them like 200 bucks which is kind of miraculous for an OEM product to only be $200 it seems like anything you buy for an Indian motorcycle starts at 300 <laughs> I think that's kind of funny but I might have to look into those I think you know as cold as it's been on all my riding on this trip that first day was just miserable
gotta have highway pegs. It's the science of life, my friends. Highway pegs mean longer rides. I mean, there's just not a lot to even look at. Like, that's interesting. I don't see any gators, though. If you don't see any gators, what's the point of looking at, like, swampland? I'm just kind of really disappointed. This ride is kind of boring. I mean, look, look, it's just straight ahead. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Like, even the farmland out here isn't pretty farmland. Like, back in the DMV, even in winter, when you do a ride out in the country, I mean, it's beautiful to look at. Beautiful, you see, you know, sweeping hills and vistas. You can see, like, the different farmland plots. Here, it's just kind of drab. Like that. Like, yeah, Like, there's nothing there. Kind of, I mean, I hate to say this, and if any of you live in Florida or live in Florida and love Florida, please don't take this personally, but... It just looks kind of run down. Everything looks kind of run down. I don't get it. It's weird. Well, I hope our ride later on is better. It's the number one ride in the state of Florida. It's only like nine miles long. It's not long at all. And for something that short, it better be super freaking twisty or have amazing scenery. Or I'll be really, really disappointed. That wasn't a good turn at all. See, I'm out of practice. Damn. One little turn and I almost run off the road. Whew. Terrible. Yeah, that's what I've come to expect from Florida. <laughs> Straight. Five mile an hour curve. Look at that. that. Might be the sharpest curve in the state of Florida. Holy smokes! Two of them. Look at that. Oh my God! And a third. We're turning here. Really? Apparently. wasn't a good turn at all. I love cows. They're so cute. Just look at you like big dummies. <laughs> no, now I'm hungry. Could use a big juicy burger. God, it was a straightaway. I, I, I almost was like doing a nice leisurely acceleration. 
It's all right. My apologies. Forgive me. My butt is killing me today. I think all my riding is finally catching up to me. Ugh. I could never do these rides on the Chieftain, not with a stock seat. It's just too uncomfortable. You know, I mean, I, I get some butt burn on the Challenger, but after hours. I mean, I've put on 1,500 miles since I left the DMV, and it takes a few hours now for, for my butt to really start aching. Now, granted, on all my riding, I basically try to, you know, take a break every, every hour, get off for 10 minutes, rest my butt. And that gives me another hour till I got to do it again, and, and that's worked fine. But tomorrow when I ride down to the Keys, it's probably going to be pretty uncomfortable kind of halfway through, no matter how many times I stop. It is what it is. Then I got three days to relax till we start the long ride back. Well guys, we have 1.3 miles to go and that's the end of this ride. This was the fourth most popular ride in the state of Florida, the Green Swamp Tour. I'm not impressed at all. I didn't really enjoy that ride. It was really boring. There was not much in the way of scenery and the scenery you did see was almost kind of depressing. I mean, this was kind of dingy and run down out here and you know the road is so boring that when I came to the one twisty I was ran off the freaking road <laughs> figures but yeah I mean I would never recommend anyone ride this ride 